When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 22. Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovely Starch Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. The Fantis call this Fanta Fanta, you can call it the Ghanaian Fisherman's Stew. It is absolutely easy, budget friendly and very, very healthy. We're making this under 20 minutes. So please be sure to stay tuned. It's absolutely delicious. Let's get started. So these are the few ingredients that I'll be using. I have some hot mackerel, a little bit of tiger shrimp. I also have some tomatoes. I have peppers, garlic, ginger, spices, onions, and I'll be having this with some bangkung. So I have my corn dough, cassava dough, and a little bit of okra on the side. Of course, you need some palm oil and some salt to taste. I'll list each and every one below in the description box all right so please kindly check it out i am going to go ahead and cut my fish what i like to do with my horse mackerel especially when it's frozen is to cut them first from experience it's very very important to cut them first before you start to clean them up just take off the intestines and the grills okay it's quite easier like that so i went ahead and did just that and now i'm going to clean it very well wash it with cold water for about two times if you have lemon juice please squeeze some there and just go ahead and clean and wash them very very well as you see me do on the screen and of course you can go ahead and use any fish of choice your tilapia your snapper fish your mackerel just use any fish that you like okay and you want to go ahead and clean the fish very very nicely okay some people like this part but i just prefer to take them off you can decide to keep whatever part that you prefer all right so once the fish is nicely cleaned and washed very well and as always if you are enjoying this recipe please kindly hit the like button it really really helps this channel grow okay it does not cost anything just help your girl with a thumbs up and i'll be so glad you did okay it is always fun to have my husband in the house while cooking he just give me just and just and just and oh boy before i realized the food is almost done <laughs> it is amazing to have just partner while cooking it's so so nice <laughs> i am always so thankful for that so i'll go ahead and clean it very well as you see the fish are nice and very fresh as fresh as new so i'm going to set it aside and also i'll go ahead and also clean my shrimp i'm just going to use a little bit of shrimp just to balance the taste taste of seafood is amazing so go ahead and use as many as you want okay so beautiful everything so what i love to do is to steam my fish a little bit it's optional though you can go ahead and start with your stew process and put in your fish and just tart everything quickly but i love to steam it a little bit over just five minutes i'll add all my fish seasoning a bit of my all purpose natural blend i'll add some chopped onions some salt to taste and a little bit of water just to get this cooking in this please make sure you cook this on a very very low heat and this also helps to get the best quality of broth for your stew later okay i'm going to do this for just about five minutes on a very low heat and now look absolutely amazing the aroma from the fresh fish and the broth is all that i needed it's so so good so now i'm going to go ahead and blend all my ingredients just to start my stew process so i'm going to add my garlic ginger my red onions my tomatoes and my habanero pepper fish can be fishy so you just want to be generous with the amount of pepper you're going to use i use strong two habanero peppers and they were just right okay i love it when it's nice and spicy so i'll just go ahead and blend everything together basically that's all you need for your 
your stew and in my pot i'm going to add this delicious palm oil i am just blessed to have zumi it is so delicious it's coming straight from home it's a bit cold here that's why it was a little bit dull okay so i'll go ahead warm it up and then add one whole chopped yellow onions i'm going to go ahead and fry this for about two minutes on a low to medium heat once that is nice and caramelized i'll add about a teaspoon of my lucas bean that is a fermented lucas bean dawa dawa to be precise but if you have more money go ahead and use it here as well the aromas are just on point with the palm oil the onions and the lucas bean oh boy now i'm going to go ahead and add my blended ingredients and give everything a mix if i tell you this is fast it is a fast way to make it so i'm going to go in with my broth that fish broth is everything you need to make the perfect fancy fancy i used to just add my fresh face right away but it was not as tasty as any time i make it this way so it's a tip for you if you're making it the other way try making it this way and you'll realize the difference okay so i'm going to go ahead cover it and allow it to just cook on a low to medium heat for about 10 minutes i'll go ahead and check on it make sure and nothing is burning and i now add my shrimp very gently and i'm now going to add my seasoning this is my all-purpose seasoning a bit of some shrimp powder and some herring powder mixed together i'm going to stir everything together and boy i love that fishy aroma coming through it is so so good and the habaneros are just so intact here you can feel it at this point so i'm going to cover it just allow this to cook for an extra seven minutes and oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy our stew is ready to receive our fish i'm going to now add our pre-cooked fish and be gentle with it so that it does not end up breaking okay so you just add everything and allow it to just simmer for about five minutes just so that it balances with the stew and everything here you can go ahead and taste for salt and adjust it to your preference after about five minutes of it simmering you should be done with your fante fante how easy is that just tell me how easy is this you can pair this with your quick eba or gary for four or better still your etel etel really takes a longer time than any other swallow but i paired it with some bangkung and my husband always quite request for a little bit of okra on the side so i went ahead to just chop few okra added a bit of lucas bean and a little bit of salt allow this to boil for just five minutes and i went ahead with my banku oh boy that banku was so soft lump free and just so so amazing we paired everything together and it was a quick hit it is so so good this recipe is particularly for you if you are tired of always frying and grilling your fish this is a beautiful way to your fresh fish into a very delicious Ghanaian delicacy it is absolutely delicious just look at the combination it is so so good Oh boy, you need to give this a try. The good thing about this is you can not only pair with swallow, but you can pair with your simple white rice as well, which I absolutely love, especially the second day okay the leftovers i just love to have it with some rice and boy oh boy it hits so so different thank you so much family for watching i really really hope that you learn a thing or two and you're going to give this a try if you did please do not forget to give me a thumbs up once again and share with your friends and family and if this is your first time here hello my name is Lovia from Lovie's Touch. My main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. I also love to share kitchen related motivational videos. So please come on board and subscribe <laughs> to join the family for amazing new recipes every week. 
thank you so very much family for watching once again and as always know that you are so beautiful just the way you are i will see you in my next one have a blessed day bye <laughs>